We are going to be removing the Mojave bumper and we will be putting on a Rubicon stock bumper that is steel um, that finally came in yesterday. So we're going to start working on removing the old bumper and then we will kind of show you hopefully the install when we get around to it. This is going to be a several day project because we're going to be losing sunlight quite quickly. <laughs> we're going to see how far we can make it. As you guys can see, here's the uh, damage if you had to watch our video of how this happened. Uh, you should watch that after this install. But we are going to be replacing the whole thing because it's a one piece. But yeah, that's our that's the damage that occurred. So much fun. Exciting stuff. There we go. I need a deep well. And this was a five eighths. Five eighths. Yep, five eighths. After what feels like doing a thousand different screws, you'll finally be ready to remove the bumper so you can install a new one. Day two. We're back. It is now the weekend, so we're gonna work on installing a few things. So it started out as just a bumper install. Um, we're actually going to be installing some rock sliders on the back of the truck, and it's easier to do if the bumper's off. So you guys are gonna get a bonus. We are gonna install these rock sliders and kind of show you what we purchased. And we're also gonna install the stock uh, Jeep Rubicon bumper onto the truck today. So we're gonna get to that. We're gonna show you kind of what we figured out. So if you wanna install these, apparently according to the directions, it takes two hours. We think we can cut that down and show you kind of what we did so that you don't have to spend two hours installing that. And we're hoping to get it done in two hours with the bumper install. You wanna tell them about your bumper and why you picked it? Uh, Cause I didn't wait around and find one on Marketplace for cheaper cause I wanted to get a bumper on. Uh, it's not very heavy. It's a Rubicon on. It's got better gription on top. Well, not really. A little bit. Different things. Different. I don't know. I picked it because it was available. And I didn't want to mess with the wiring. An aftermarket one, and this one comes with the harness already in there. I thought I was going to have to pull the old harness, but I don't have to pull the old harness. It's super easy, but it is very easy. It's just these four bolts right here. Disconnect this wiring thing, which is a pain. Make sure you pop that out. We don't have very good recording of that, so... I was a little frustrated at the time. We don't. We'll try to show you kind of which ones they are before we put it on so you have an idea. Yep, that's it. It's not the sturdiest thing. I could have got a way heavier one, but this one's not much heavier than the other one. All right, here's the stock bumper. So as you can tell, it's tweaked. You can see the differences. That one's steel plating inside. It's like a steel skin. This one has steel here and plastic in the middle. It does come with the wiring harness, which is nice on the other one. And the lights, and yeah. Very similar. Yeah, it is so a little, this one is lighter. It's probably like 15 pounds lighter, I guess. It's, it's just the difference of steel versus plastic, because this is where we broke it. Yes. As, as you, you can, can see, and all the mud, you know. And we bent the bracket. See, the bolt's bent a little bit, too. So. Yeah, so I'm going to try to fix it. I don't know if that's possible. We'll see what it looks like. So, obviously, you can tell the differences between them, and especially if you knock on them. Like, obviously, that part's plastic. Well, there's steel if you look behind But there's steel. Oh, this one. That's steel. I don't know. Oh yeah, the steel. It's steel skin though, see? This is like plastic skin. It's a plastic, plastic skin. It's steel here, but it's reinforced. Still better than this coma bumper. So, you can't really tell, but you can kind of tell a little bit. But we installed this side so we can kind of figure it out. So that is the plate that the, the bumper rock slider is going to install on. And so it's got these bolts underneath here, which are kind of hard to see. But up in here, these are your medium-sized bolts. So one goes in this top hole, and another one goes in a bottom hole, which you really can't see from this angle because it's really hard. hard to They're really hard to find. So honestly, having the bumper off is probably your best idea. Work by Braille. Right. Dad, you gotta go super off. Well, once we get the other one, it's a little easier. So as you guys can see, it's really tight in there. And so once you get the holes, we recommend getting the bottom one first because then you can kind of adjust it to get to the top side, hole. It's easier than the other side. Oh, and you gotta fight the exhaust. I didn't record that, good luck. Yeah, good luck, right? Good luck on that one, you'll be fine. Some guy on YouTube can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> Tell you that, uh-oh, there it is. Put your washer on the other side here. Yes, you just take it. 
Oh, come on. Maybe. Oh, that does the right one. I don't know if they're different sizes. They don't tell you very good, so I have no idea. The other one out a little farther, but it's fine. There we go, and then you can tighten it later. Got the bracket on the bumper fixed from when it was bent from that rock. We are actually going to pivot and start installing the bumper because the rock rails have to be installed on part of the bumper. So we are pivoting to install the bumper, which requires apparently the use of a rivet tool. And so we have never used a rivet tool before. So this is going to be fun. We like new tools and it came with instructions that are ish useful, it has pictures. So we're going to figure this out. <laughs> and try to get a bumper installed now. I bought this rivet tool off of Amazon. And so this is what it is. It was a good price because it came with the right sizes will be needed for the bumper. Um, oh yeah, millions of dollars later. So this is a tool I don't know if we'll ever use again, but. So no, put this on here. <laughs> yeah, you put that on there. Use yeah. that man strength. Break things, right? Ugh, now what? Well, I read the instructions. <laughs> you read them. I don't read the instructions. <laughs> See, I don't do instructions. You don't do instructions? Not when I have you read them. <laughs> I could describe this as you use it like you would a treat a bush trimmer. I don't know if that's correct way to describe it, but that's what I'm saying. And then I just squeeze. And then you squeeze it like you're cutting a tree branch. I know that. Yeah. You got this. <gasps> oh, God. It should be, easy, be easier if you had like a Someone else taking it or it's on a stand or oh god for the love of gosh oh boy one more oh, there I think that's, that's as far as it needs to go I did it I just unscrew it right yeah I don't know why everybody made it so hard on YouTube well <laughs> one guy did <laughs> because they don't have uh, your your oh, oh my goodness power. <laughs> Help. I don't know what the hell there. Oh, you just unscrew this. Uh -huh. There we go. See? <laughs> Look at you. Genie's butt. Look, we've never I, used one. Look at us. I am a genie's butt. I figured out how to use a tool eventually. <laughs> a tool we never had to ever use, and now we own one. M10, by the way. I purchased a tool I'll never need again. And we purchased this specific tool because it came with well, the M10s. I one more thing to clutter up my shit. <laughs> because buying just the M10s by themselves without the tool was almost as expensive as buying this tool with the M10s. So... In case you're wondering, I'll, I'll link it down below. <laughs> We're not sponsored by anybody. We spend our own money on these things. Lots of it. Too much. I'm going to take, never take out a second job. <sighs> oh, come on. Just like a quarter inch more. Oh, boy. Good job. There, touched it. All right. Then I loosen it. Ta-da. That's not Look so bad. Look at you. I'm like a professional. And it doesn't come with bolts, so I have to find some bolts. An M10 bolt. Two bolts. Oh, yeah. So the Two M10 bolts. The bumper does not come with bolts. That's an after the bumper's on thing. Okay. So, this tool, actually, not too bad. Those look pretty nice. So I do have to give props to Jeep right here. This bumper install was so much easier than the Tacoma bumper install. This slid right on and it was honestly something that Dane probably could have just done himself without my help. And these are just the same bolts that are off of the other bumper. So yep. nothing special about them. Three thousand years later, right? Right. Does it have torque specs in there? There's no instructions on this. Either. There is no instructions on the bumper. Good and tight it is. One ugga dugga. Two ugga duggas. One ugga dugga. Two ugga dugga. There. I can Two ugga duggas is the official torque spec on this bumper. Two ugga duggas. It's so much easier than the total one. Looks like it was machined machine correctly or something. Right. I think this goes like... Where's the... Oh, there it is. Oh, well, yeah, that's way so Uh-oh. Where's that wire at? For the light thing. Oh, no. Let's see, that goes somewhere. Oh, man. 
Oh, there it is. Okay, found it. <laughs> and that's still good. It's got a new thingy on it. I don't remember where the old one is. It's too dark because you're here to see. Huh. I don't, oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So, ow, my elbow. Which way does this go? I can't remember. You got to push it in and then put the red thing back. Okay. Oh, there. And then that's the easy. red thing pushes in. Oh, that's so easy. Yeah. That's a simple... So note on removing this, pull the red tab. We had to use a flathead screwdriver, a little tiny one, to get the red tab yep, undone. So because it is tight when you oh first do it. Oh my goodness, that was so easy. Just factory right in. I didn't have to worry about nothing. We got the harness now all done. So as far as it goes, like, like it's not too bad. I think the worst part is, is as you can see, it was kind of hard to film. It's super tight in here. Not that bad. It's but so it's much. not terrible, but... Once you do it once, like it's pretty easy. Once you undo it, you kind of know where things go. Back to the rock rails. <laughs> now that we've got the lights there's installed. There's some that and there's some your light. Yep, so there's some bolt holes there. So this bracket goes right there. So it works good with the Rubicon bumper. Yeah. Good, I just need some bolts to bolt this together loosely. Then I'm gonna figure out which bolts goes there. So I'm gonna need you to bring bolts. Okay. This is the bad side anyways, because it's thick. Yeah, awesome. so this is the hard side. <laughs> There's that one. Oh, they're like lock washers, that's why. Oh! Grunt. Manly grunts. <laughs> yeah. I'm to get that in there. Ow! Broke it. Broke my wrist. I think you broke your wrist. Which way does that go? Not great. Ow, I just about cut my finger off. I don't do that. No, I won't. I'm going to switch this around like I did the other one. So doing the bolts the other direction than what you would, what you would typically want is probably recommended. Yeah, that's a deal like I did. That's what I'm probably going to do once I get this side tight. I'll we'll switch the other one around because it hurts. Actually, could you have impact on this? Why am I being so physical? How does it look? Lined up. I think it looks like what we want. Fall off, hit me no. <laughs> don't, don't scare me like that. <laughs> That's not funny. I tighten that one bolt the tightest of bits and should hold. It's not funny. I have safety glasses on. And... Those are called glasses. Those aren't safety glasses. Well, they're safe fish. They're safe fish glasses. Because the top one takes four days. is now officially installed along with the rock rails um so far so good i can't really complain it looks really decent so let's turn it around and show it to you so as you can see here there is the new rock rail with the new bumper and so the important note to here if you don't have a rubicon bumper you are going to have to trim that little piece there to fit but honestly i think it all turned out pretty good yeah. How do you feel about it now that you're done? I'm bleeding. You did hurt yourself. Take me to the hospital. I need stitches. Look. I don't huge. think you need stitches. It looks so, like you, you just scraped your knuckle. Ripped all the skin off. Yep, I like it. Looks good. I didn't need those two bottom bolts, I don't think, but I put them in anyway. So. Right, just to do it officially the way it's supposed to be done. There you go. It looks good. Yeah. Clean up and put all the tools up. Talk like that again. Those will keep it from happening again. Yes, it was just <laughs> boink, boink, tonk. Exactly. All right, cool. It looks good. I like it. Woohoo! Now we get to clean up because the shop is a mess.